I'm not allowed to give investment advice, but if there's one investment that I would recommend that I know can give you a better return than today's housing market, than today's stock market, and even a better return than today's cryptocurrency market is canceling your Netflix subscription. Stick with me for one minute. I'll show you what I mean. The Bureau of Labor Statistics released an American time use summary. And what they found was that the average American spends 2.9 hours a day watching TV. And the way that people watch TV today is, of course, Netflix. And the number one reason why most Americans feel like they cannot make more money or they cannot make a big financial change in their life is because they don't have enough free time. They say it takes 10,000 hours to become a master at anything. Well, if you spend 50 hours doing one thing, I can guarantee you, you're going to become pretty good at that one thing. And if you spend 500 hours learning and experimenting and trying one thing, you're going to become really good at that one thing. Well, if you work 49 weeks a year and you work five days a week out of those 49 weeks a year. And instead of spending two and a half hours watching TV, you spend that two and a half to 2.9 hours now learning, building, trying new things. That means after one year, even including holidays, including weekends, you're going to spend over 700 hours learning and building your own education on how you can work to earn more money. I can guarantee you that if you spend just one year, those 700 hours, and that's not including weekends or holidays, if you spend 700 hours in one year working and learning to earn more money, I guarantee you that 12 months from now, you are going to have a completely different mindset and skill set towards earning money. And you are going to know a lot of ways to earn more money. And even if you don't increase your income 12 months from now, you are going to have the tools and the knowledge and the ability to do so. And now you're going to have more ability to now earn more money. That way you can build more wealth. Time is the number one most powerful tool that all of us have access to when it comes to building your wealth. And so now if you compare two people, one person comes home from work every single day, they sit on their couch, they watch Netflix for a couple hours to decompress, they hang out with their family, then they go to sleep. And then you compare person number two, where they come home from work, they spend time with their family, and then they spend a couple hours working on their business. They spend that time learning about how to manage their money. They spend that time learning how to earn more money. In 10 years, who do you think is going to have more earning capability? The person who's spending their free time watching Netflix or the person who's spending their free time learning to earn more money? Yeah, it takes more work. It takes more hustle. It takes more time, but you have the ability to do so. And if you now can cancel that Netflix subscription, you are going to free up that free time, the most valuable asset that you have access to. That way now you can reallocate that access, not the money. I'm not worried about the $15 a month. I'm talking about this two to three hours a day that the average person is spending watching Netflix. If you can reallocate that asset, it costs you nothing to do so but it can completely change the trajectory of your life, your money, and your wealth if you start learning. Because once you start learning, you can also start earning. But you can't do that unless you start learning and you start trying things. And that's not possible unless you have the ability to do so. I have made a lot of different investments in my career. I've invested in real estate. I've invested in stocks. I've invested in startups. I've invested in gold. I've invested in cryptocurrencies. But the one investment that has given me the best return out of all the investments that I made, and I started investing in real estate when prices were at the rock bottom after the 2008 crash. And still the number one best investment that I have made was the investment in myself. Now this best investment that I made isn't just the money that I spent now buying books, buying classes, hiring coaches, hiring consultants, but the time that I spent learning as well. I didn't grow up learning about money. I didn't grow up learning about entrepreneurship. I didn't grow up learning about financial education. All of these things were forbidden for me. I grew up in a very strict, traditional Indian household where I had to go out and become a doctor. In fact, I could either become a doctor or I could become a failure. Those were the only two options that I had. And so when I started learning about money, I went out of my way. This is back before YouTube was available. I had to go out and read books. That was the first time I ever read a book cover to cover. I hated reading. The first time I ever read a book cover to cover was a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And when I read that book, it opened my mind to a whole new world of money that I had never been exposed to before. Once I read that book, then I started reading Dave Ramsey's books. And then I started reading more books. And then I started learning and I started applying 
doing what I was learning. And this is where now being willing to spend that time, not just reading, but also doing can change the trajectory of your life. And yeah, it can be very hard. When I was going to law school, I didn't want to go to law school. I went there to make my parents happy. I was going to law school, but at the same time, I knew I didn't want to be an attorney. I went through law school. I became a licensed attorney and I have never worked a day as an attorney. And the reason why is because when I was in law school, my time was spent trying to figure out what the heck I was going to do. So now I'm in law school, I'm working on my business, and that was a lot of time before classes, after classes. I was running a sock company at the time. I also started my YouTube channel around that time. And so then I also started taking acting classes. I started taking a night evening acting class to start learning how do I talk in front of a camera because I had never done anything like that before. And so now I'm spending my time doing all these different things. And I'm also working to invest in real estate. I also got my real estate salesperson's license. I was doing everything that I possibly could to learn because that was how I learned. I learned by doing. And I knew that this was my opportunity to learn and do something because I wanted to achieve something different. And so now if you want to be able to earn more money or invest better or get better returns, or build more wealth, you have to invest more in yourself. They say that, you know, when there's a will, there's a way. We all heard that statement before. But that's such a vague statement. What the heck does that even mean? When I used to go and guest teach in Detroit Public Schools, it's a very rough school district, smart kids, many times in tough situations. And I would go and guest teach once a week or once a month in these schools, and I would talk to the kids about money and life and leadership. And I would ask questions like, how many of you have a job? These are high school kids. And pretty much everybody would raise their hands saying that they have a job. Then I would ask, how many of you have a bank account? Nobody raised their hand. Not a single person had a bank account. So I would ask, what do you do with the money that you earn? You get this physical paycheck, you go to the local liquor store, you cash the paycheck, the liquor store owner takes 1% to 10% of the check, you buy a bunch of pop and candy on the way out, and now you have a small fraction of your entire paycheck on the way out. But at the same time, what are you prioritizing? Because when these kids wanted the newest pair of Jordans, they would do whatever it took to get those Jordans, whether it was working extra hours, whether it was sacrificing spending money on things at school, whether it was not eating lunch, people would make huge sacrifices to get the newest pair of Jordans because that's what they wanted. So now my mindset is, how do we now reallocate this mindset instead of getting the Jordans to building wealth? And this is where it goes back to the same thing. When you want something, you will find a way to get it, whether it's a pair of shoes, whether it is a Gucci bag, whether it's a car, whether it's a big home, whether it's whatever. If your goal now is to build wealth, if your goal is to invest in a rental property, if your goal is to build a big stock market portfolio, you got to get hyper-focused on that. That means now you got to spend your time learning how to do that. Because when that's something that you want really bad, you are going to figure out whatever it takes to do that. And it becomes much easier to make those sacrifices because nobody likes not being able to go out to eat. Nobody likes not being able to go on a vacation. I mean, these sacrifices suck. How are you going to explain to your wife or your husband, hey, we can't go out to eat anymore because I want to get rich or I want to become wealthy? Win. What does that even mean? Nobody wants to just make sacrifices for the sake of making sacrifices. You got to get on the same page where, hey, Let's make this financial sacrifice. Let's not go on a vacation this year. That way we can work to build our wealth. That way in a few years, we can go on two vacations a year instead of just one. Because now you're working for something bigger and that's what you have to align yourself on and your goals on is how are you going to get bigger? And then you got to get laser focused on that idea of getting bigger. And now the resource that is the most powerful is your time. Of course, you have to use your money smartly. But your time, if you can use your time the right way, that's what's going to show you what you can do with your money. That way you can grow your money. And that's what's going to show you how you can earn more money. That way you can have more money to invest. But this means you are going to have to allocate your time. And I know it's not easy. If you got kids, it's not easy. If you got a spouse, it's not easy. We all got things going on in life. Everybody's having babies. Everyone's got a baby shower. Everyone's having these graduation parties. There's always something going on. But you got to get focused on you. I call it a decade of sacrifice. Now, of course, it's easier to do this when you're in your 20s, but it's easier to do it in your 30s and it is your 40s. It's also easier in your 40s and your 50s. And it's also easier in your 50s and your 60s. 
But this is where the sooner you start, the better it is because the decade of sacrifice where now this decade you are working to spend less and earn more. That way you can do one thing, invest your money. That way you can build wealth. That's what's going to allow you to set yourself apart from everybody else that you know. This isn't a six steps to building wealth system because those six steps to six figures systems are making one person rich and it's not you. If you really want to build wealth, you are going to have to make sacrifices. There's no other way around it. And that means putting in the work, putting in the time to spend less and earn more, that we have more money to invest. And if you put in that effort, if you cancel the Netflix, if you cancel some of that time, that way you have more time available to allocate to you building wealth, you will surprise yourself how much you can learn in just six months. When you first start learning anything, it is so overwhelming. I go through the same thing even in business. When I go and start learning a new thing, if I started learning about building a good SEO website, it's going to be very overwhelming because now you start hearing about all these terms and all these ideas and all these strategies and all these different opinions that is just information overload. But if you stick with it and you start breaking it down and you start digesting and you start watching more videos and you start reading more blogs, eventually, once you put in 50 hours, you're going to start learning the basics. When you put in 500 hours, you're going to know it really well. You're going to know it better than most people out there. And it takes the time and the dedication to be able to do that. Now, you can change it from building an SEO website to learning how to build a business, to learning how to earn more money, to learning how to invest your money better, to learning how to invest in real estate, to learning how to invest in real estate without a ton of money, to learning how to invest in stocks. It doesn't matter what it is, but you have to start reallocating your time. If you've been subscribed to my channel, you've probably heard the saying, pay yourself first, that you got to pay yourself first before you go out and make everybody else rich because, well, now when you invest your money before you go out and spend your money, now you can make yourself rich first. Well, it's the same thing with your time. Spend your time on you first before you spend your time on everything else. Now, of course, you got to spend time with your family, your spouse. I get that. But I'm talking about the Netflix time because that's time that's just killing your brain cells. Reallocate that TV time that's not doing anything to now something that's going to be more productive. And if you say, but Jaspreet, that's my time to relax and unwind. Listen, you can unwind a whole lot easier when you're rich. Work to build what it is that you want. And I'm not saying you got to go and kill yourself watching these YouTube videos and learning. You can be relaxed and watching some YouTube videos too. There are some entertaining channels that can teach you how to build wealth. They can teach you how to invest your money. And that can be another form of unwind. And it's just like starting to be healthy. When you go from eating donuts and Twinkies and Ho-Hos every day, and then you start eating a salad, it's going to taste like crap. But once you start eating salads, you're going to realize, oh, you can make a salad taste pretty good. And then you start liking the taste of the healthy food options. And then the unhealthy food starts to taste bad because now you've changed your palate. You've changed the way that your tongue likes food. It's the same thing with your time. When all you're used to is watching dumb TV shows and movies on Netflix, but as soon as you start watching something educational, it's going to feel so boring and so annoying and so stressful. But as you start to watch more of the educational content, now all of a sudden you're going to start liking it. You're going to like the feeling of learning and becoming smarter and having education that can allow you to increase your income. And then you're going to realize, wait, wasting my time watching all of these dumb shows isn't as fun or as enjoyable as I thought. But it takes that initial ditching the donuts and the ho-hos and start eating the salads. It's the same thing here. You're ditching all the brain-killing content. That way you can increase your wealth content. I'm going to jump back into the video in just one second. But before we do, if you are an investor and you're looking for an easy and free way to stay up to date on what's happening in the top financial news from the economy to the housing market to the stock market to the crypto market to the global economy, then you have to check out Market Briefs. Market Briefs is my free financial news editor that I created that will keep you up to date on what's happening in the financial news. You can read the news editor in less than five minutes every morning. Morning. It's a fun and easy to read email and it's completely free. So if you haven't joined Market Briefs yet, I got the link to how you can join down in the description below. And the reason why this is so important now is because of the current state of the economy and how our money is changing. Now, of course, what I always like to say is your mindset is the precursor for any success. The way you think is going to change what you do and what you do is going to change what you get. 
And the way that you can change what you think is to change how you spend your time. You got to change the environment that your brain is in. When your brain is in a toxic, negative, brain killing environment, whether that's around toxic people, whether it's around drugs and alcohol, whether it's around a bunch of broke people with negative attitudes, you're going to be absorbing all this negativity and all this bad stuff that's going to make it very hard for you to think positive, successful things that's going to make it extremely difficult to you for you to do anything that's going to bring you any positivity and success. And so if you don't have that environment around you, you got to put yourself and force yourself in that content. And the most accessible way to do that is just to reallocate that free time that you have to something that's going to allow you to learn. That way you can start changing the way that your brain is wired and start changing the way that your brain thinks. That way now you can start thinking of ways to grow your income and build your wealth instead of just thinking of ways of how can you just shut off. When I first started learning about entrepreneurship and I first started seeing success in entrepreneurship, this is years ago now, I was so obsessed and I was so excited because I finally, for the first time, started making decent money. And if you want to quantify decent money, it was probably two or $300,000 a year as an entrepreneur from my own 